Italia. Thank you very much um, for the kind introduction. And it is truly my great um, pleasure to um, give this um, talk in this Remembering um, David Cooper session in, in the um, IS members meeting this year because I, I, I believe that each one of you in the audiences has some connection with Professor David Cooper. And um, in this talk, I'm going to um, cover uh, some best practices in testing treatment prevention um, in Thailand and also in other countries in the region, all aiming at preventing new HIV cases and also to um, touch about the South-to-South -South collaborations in which um, Professor David Cooper has been main um, driver in um, the Asia-Pacific region. So in our region, Asia-Pacific region, New South Wales has always been our big brother or big sisters in which other countries are always looking up to in their ending AIDS um, strategy. And this epic New South Wales study in which Professor David Cooper is the co-PI with um, Professor Andrew Grulick um, has um, demonstrated that um, it's, it's not only this rapid targeted large scale PrEP rollout that has, has brought down the number of new HIV cases in New South Wales, but it's actually a decades long um, combination of many things. Um, the strong um, communities ending AIDS campaign um, plus a very committed Ministry of Health and plus a very um, um, wide network of um, gay friendly sexual health services and also a very positive consensus of uh, on PrEP from health professionals um, in New South Wales that has, that has really um, um, showing this impact on new HIV cases. So in this um, um, study, it demonstrated that it is because of um, Professor David Cooper's um, political and scientific leadership that has actually um, brought to us um, the strong commitment from the government of New South Wales, as well as the um, donation of large amount of um, PrEP drug from the Gilead that, that get the study started. So now in New South Wales, you can choose how to end it, uh, whether that being using condoms consistently or and or um, taking PrEP and or um, getting to be undetectable. So using that example from New South Wales, it's, it's not only in New South Wales that the serious engagement of key populations has led to um, uh, us to see the, the impact on the responses to HIV. But um, now we have this term key population-led health services or KPLHS in which we used to advocate for the KP community leadership uh, in order to um, design by themselves and deliver by themselves um, the services which are needs-based, demand-driven and client-centered. And these services are provided um, in a way that it is uh, through partnership between community-based organization and government and public health facilities. And in this model, the certain health of services uh, can be provided by trained kp led providers um, in order to um, do mainly um, HIV testing, uh, dispensing of PrEP, PEP, and um, ART for stable um, clients. And these are services provided in places in um, service hours which are most suitable for um, key populations. So in Thailand, we have demonstrated that this KPLHS system has very successfully um, helped us to identify um, populations with high prevalence and also high incidence. And these are population um, who are MSM, uh, male sex workers, transgender sex workers, transgender uh, women, with very, very high incidence, as you can see here, uh, who are prime targets uh, for PrEP services. And um, it's, it may seem simple, but I would like to um, stress here that the serious engagement of key populations um, in this KPLHS model um, is, is something that is going beyond just the simple conventional role of having KP communities providing um, educational brochures, um, condoms, lubricants, but it is um, truly the empowerment of key populations, lay providers who can do HIV testing, who can dispense PrEP, who can dispense PEP and ART to their um, friends, as well as engage them um, in uh, both treatment and um, prevention services. So, I would just now shift a little bit to the treatment side of the um, HIV cascade, aiming at preventing new HIV um, 
cases, and we know treatment is prevention. Treatment um, um, at any CD4 call should be uh, what we are already are doing now. Uh, but have we been doing good enough in terms of um, trying to start ART as soon as possible um, for everyone? So in the many countries in our region, we are doing um, better and better for the first 90, but the second 90 is the worst, and um, that resulted in just half or less than half of people living with HIV in our countries who um, has achieved that um, suppressed viral load. So in Bangkok, we have this um, Thai Red Cross Anonymous Clinic, which is the largest um, HIV testing clinic, um, part of the um, HIFNAT um, um, research collaboration that uh, we have seen more than uh, 40,000 people come in for HIV testing. And in this model, what we are doing is that we use our clinic, HIV testing clinic, as a same-day ART initiation hub. So we just initiate people on ART on the ex exact same day that they come in, tested HIV positive. Okay. And this can be clients coming into our clinic or clients um, referred uh, from other KPL HS site to our clinic. Um, ART will be um, dispensed, they will get prescribed to these um, clients um, after um, we have ruling out um, TB infection by chest x-ray, symptom screening, and ruling out cryptococcal meningitis by um, physical exam and crypto antigen. But ART will not be prescribed for no, no more than um, two and a half months because we are just ART initiated Hub, we are testing site. We then will then refer um, the clients with help from navigators uh, to um, the registered um, hospital for their long-term ART care. And you can see that 80% of people can start at ART on that exact same day of having HIV diagnosis, and the rest will be um, started within the seven days. And um, retention rate is very high, more than 90% at month three and six, with a viral load suppression of um, almost 95% at month six. And then for the prevention side, we have many modalities, uh, but we have not been using it very effectively. Um, so if we look at the, the example from the Epic New South Wales, that's the nurse-led um, PrEP program. Can we do that in other settings? And uh, can we uh, further demedicalize PrEP um, dispensing role to someone who are KP lay providers? So, so that's what we are um, now doing in um, Thailand, in which um, trained KP lay providers can uh, dispense um, PrEP to their clients um, within the same day, again, same day concept, of getting their HIV negative um, status. And right now, more than half of all Thai PrEP users are receiving PrEP um, through this KPLHS um, site. Uh, so what, what we can see here is that um, we have around one million uh, MSM and transgender women in Thailand. And let's say that around 20% of them are um, at risk for getting HIV infection. We would love to see 200,000 people on PrEP. We only now have 5,000 people on PrEP. So that's only like less than 3% um, coverage of PrEP. So we are doing really, really bad, although um, people are saying that um, Thailand is uh, one of the leaders um, for PrEP in the region. No, we want to get to that New South Wales level, not just the Bangkok and Thailand level. Thank you. So this is the, just a flow to show to you that we can simplify PrEP. You know, we can simplify PrEP. Anyone coming in for HIV testing, tested um, negative, um, and are interested to get PrEP, they can have that um, bottle of PrEP dispensed to them on that day. We can just wait for creatinine um, results and um, hepatitis B serology to come back a few days later on, be verified by doctors, and then we just um, call the clients whether or not you can uh, continue PrEP or you have to come back uh, to get uh, further referral for investigation if you have abnormal um, kidney function. So what I would like to um, say here is that in Asia, um, countries in the Asia Pacific region have, have been learning so much from each other um, throughout this um, past um, three decades in, in an effort to end AIDS. And this could not happen if we not, do not have um, the initiation um, 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 by Professor David Cooper, Professor Jup Lang, and uh, Professor Prapan um, to form HIFNAT and do, to be part of the Treat Asia uh, collaboration networks. And you can see here that um, the, the, the key um, success um, to to these collaborations is the mutual um, uh, learning and sharing of experiences between countries. And we always um, do this uh, with respect and with joy. 
even that uh, will be over, uh, at, 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 um, will, will be like teaching, mentoring, or coaching um, over a dinner um, with a glass of wine or beer, uh, as you can see, or in a clinic room, looking into someone's tuchi all day long. We always do that with happiness and, and with respect. And, and that's the key of the success in collaborations in, in a regional setting. So i um, just end by um, going quickly through some examples of how South-to-South -South learning uh, can really help um, pushing PrEP implementation in the um, region um, forward. Um, so example here is that when um, the countries in our region learn from New South Wales, learn from Thailand, who is the first country who um, de uh, demonstrate the, the, the PrEP um, project. Um, now Taiwan uh, also have this um, Taiwan CDC led PrEP demo project in which they, they uh, were they were able to only enroll 300 people out of 1,000 people because of an attack from the anti-LGBT group in the country. But data generated is so rich in terms of the on-demand on um, PrEP using or the access of PrEP um, from outside of the country sources uh, by, by Taiwan MSM. Vietnam has also seen a very rapid uptake of PrEP um, over just the past year. And this is, again, um, the demonstration of what, how um, KP co-creation in PrEP service design and demand creation has uh, played an important role here. Malaysia also uh, just started its My Prep project um, for 150 MSM, um, aiming to um, explore three different prep service delivery model. One is through university hospital, another one through a private clinic, and um, the last one through CBO clinic led by the PT Foundation. Um, the Philippines has this. Um, um, project Preppy, um, led by Met, um, um, Love Yourself and the Research Institute for Tropical Medicine, they quickly completed enrollment of 250 MSM and has seen a growing pool of now more than 3,000 MSM in wait list uh, for PrEP. So this again showed uh, to you that the KP-led uh, community health center can successfully generate demand and deliver um, the services. So in conclusion, um, I, we aiming at preventing new HIV um, infections in uh, Thailand, in other countries in the region. We know that treat all is still not true for a few countries, um, especially those with large um, epidemic. But we should aim for same day ART. At the same time, prep is also not yet available for free outside of demonstration projects in any countries. Um, but we also should aim for same day prep as well as aim for KP led um, prep service delivery model. And it is um, very challenging that we know that HIV testing treatment and prevention services provided by KP lab providers are not professionally or legally accepted. But it um, tells us that we really need to urgently demedicalize HIV testing, ART, and PrEP. And lastly, um, South to South collaborations, I feel strongly that it will be the most culturally, religiously acceptable and sustainable way to end AIDS in our region. Thank you very much.